there's not a college degree that you can go in battery cell manufacturing, so we will teach you everything you need. The CEO of Lordstown Motors tells the Business Journal his company's sale of its manufacturing plant to Foxconn is a big win for the Mahoning Valley, and local high school students learn about career opportunities in the manufacturing industry. This is The Daily Buzz. Hello everyone, welcome to The Daily Buzz. I'm Mike Moliterno. The CEO of Lordstown Motors says the sale of his company's manufacturing complex in Lordstown to Taiwanese manufacturer Foxconn will lead to a full plant and is a big win for the Mahoning Valley. In an exclusive interview with the Business Journal, Daniel Ninivagi said they had to explore every opportunity to speed up production. Quote, I said when I started that our success as a company is tied directly to the success of this plant. He went on to say, quote, Lordstown is an amazing facility one of the largest in North America. It's a tremendous asset if you fill it. If you can't fill it, it's a liability. Late Thursday, Lordstown Motors announced it has reached a deal in principle with Foxconn to purchase the plant for $230 million and buy up to another $50 million in Lordstown Motors stock. Nini Vaghi says the deal will not only help Lordstown Motors speed up production of the Endurance, but will also spur development of future vehicles. The deal also allows Foxconn to partner with other EV automakers. Nini Vaghi said, quote, by bringing Foxconn in and their ability to bring in other programs, they're going to be able to fill that facility much faster than we could on our own. Lordstown Motors is currently manufacturing pre-production models, which Ninivagi said will continue into early next year, with commercial production expected to begin in the second quarter of 2022. You can read more at businessjournaldaily.com. Area high school students are learning more about the careers available to them in the manufacturing industry, courtesy of an open house at the new Excellence Training Center at Youngstown State University. YSU held Manufacturing Day Friday at the center with more than a dozen area manufacturers on hand to talk to students. 9th through 12th graders, they're still developing their interests and finding pathways for themselves, so we're hoping obviously by having the vendors here, the industry partners here with us today, and YSU, that they can see that there's a lot of opportunities for them as they move forward and develop their interests. For the high school students, um, we're offering uh, production associate positions, which is uh, floor pe people working on the floor. Um, and basically what we're gonna do is direct them to the work Workforce Accelerator Program with YSU to get the uh, training module that we set up with them. It's called Battery Cell Operator Training, or curriculum. Um, to get them trained up to be prepared to get a job with us. Students also heard about specific segments of manufacturing, including machining, robotics, industrial maintenance, and commercial printing. Today we're looking for some workers who have some drive, some ambition, and have a, a love for maybe being mechanical or welding. Maybe a family member has done it. This is a new industry, right? There's not a college degree that you can go in battery cell manufacturing, so we will teach you everything you need. Um, what we're really looking for in our employees is, and, and ident identifying in individuals is those soft skills, right? Are they team players? Um, do they have strong work ethic? Are they eager to learn? I really enjoy manufacturing and getting to look at all the parts and machines and uh, my, my dad's even through manufacturing and engineering, and uh, I wanted to see the electrical uh, electrical engineering programs that they have. I think it's really interesting to hear about all the different types of like things we can go into. The schools participating in the event were Columbiana County Career and Technical Center, Mahoney County Career and Technical Center, Trumbull County Career and Technical Center, Valley Christian High School, and Youngstown City Schools. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Buzz. We'll be back on Monday with more local business news. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Moliterno. Seven Seventeen Credit Union, business services designed to meet your daily needs: commercial loans, business deposits, merchant and payroll services. Seven Seventeen Credit Union. It's knowing you were treated right every time. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications. And also make sure to connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. For all of your business news, visit businessjournaldaily.com. For all of your arts and entertainment news, go to afterhoursyoungstown.com.